Hello and welcome to another Planet Destiny video. Today is Tuesday, the week of June the 23rd, and it is time for the weekly reset video. First up are the Nightfall Weekly and Prison of Elders activities. The Nightfall is the Cerberus Vey Strike. The modifiers are Arc Burn, Brawler, and Solar Burn. Go all in on the solar weapons to help take out those Captain Shields and avoid, well, pretty much all damage. Pretty much everything is solar, and the Scions have a nasty Arc Blast that will take you out from a good distance. If you have Galahorn, use it. Valus' health got nerfed a while back, and he's just a cuddly teddy bear now that happens to have a Gatling gun and rockets. The weekly is the Shadow Thief Strike with the Angry modifier. Just take it slow through there and you'll get your coins in no time. Okay, so Prison of Elders is going to seem a little bit familiar. It's pretty much a carbon copy of the very first week of House of Wolves. For 32 version, we have Val Shuareg with Juggler as the modifier. For 34, we have Urox the Flame Prince with Solar Burn. For Skolas, we have the Small Arms and Light Switch modifiers, so Fatebringer and Fang of Your Ute is going to be your bread and butter here. Alright, next up, let's do the Queen's Bounties. There's a new one here this week, so let's start out with that one. To find the Repeater Shank, spawn into Venus Patrol and head to the Nexus. Once you get into that first room, the Repeater Shanks should be off to your right. Once you kill those, head back out and make your way to the Endless Steps. If you need a reminder, this is where you fight the Gatekeeper for the Eye of the Gate Lord mission. Head all the way over to the far left side of the zone and you should find the Servitor floating around over there. The final one on Venus is with a pack of wolves. Head back out, go over to the Citadel, wait around for Picus, kill him, and then you're good on Venus. Now head over to the Earth Patrol. The Tracer Shanks can be found in the Breach. So to get there, go to your right when you spawn in on patrol and make your way to the area where you first spawn into the game. You should eventually meet up with the Tracer Shanks. Once they're dead, head back the way you came to the Skywatch. Wait around here for Calyx 12. Once you're done there, head to orbit. The final one guy is on the moon. Spawn in on patrol and head to the next zone on your right. Once you hit the Anchor of Light, just wait around again for this guy to spawn in. It takes a while sometimes, so just be patient. After you kill him, you're done with the Queen's Bounties. Return to the Reef and claim your rewards. Be sure to complete your Nightfall before you turn him in, though, so you can get the most rep possible. As a side note, I grinded to rank 5 off Ether Chests over the weekend, and didn't really get anything out of the ordinary, so we still have no idea where the 347 Vested Dynasty comes from. When we finally know, we'll be sure to make a video about it, though. Moving on to things from Varix, we have the chess piece this week. They have hand cannon ammo on them, so that's a plus at least. The shotgun has dreg burn on it as well, so that's better than shank burn that we've been previously getting. Both are worth picking up if you don't have anything better. Well, that's it for the weekly reset guide this week, guys. This has been Patrick Casey with Planet Destiny, your guide to the Destiny universe.